video. Thank you very much. Hello everyone and welcome back for part three. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how we turn this to this. The tools that we need for today's video, scissors, a pen or some other cylindrical object and sandpaper. And it might help this week to acquire a coarser grit of sandpaper. So this is 80 grit and this is 220. So if you are going to acquire a new tool for the purposes of this video, a coarser grit sandpaper is the one to have. One for removal and one for finishing. And finally, the other thing we need is a popsicle stick. To start this process off, we're gonna use our scissors and in the middle of the popsicle stick, just go back and forth a few times and score both sides. Eventually it will cut in half. Maybe it'll just score it and then snap it quite easily. But we have two spoon blanks that fit nicely into the bowls that we made last week. So they're just slightly longer than the rim of the bowl, which is exactly the right length that you want from a spoon. We have our popsicle stick with a rounded end. And this is perfect because this is exactly what the end of a spoon looks like. This is exactly what we want to see. So the next thing that I want you to do is to pick a spot about a quarter of the way up. And we are just going to cut a small notch on both sides. So we've cut through the fibers up to this point. The next thing I want you to do is to use your scissors and find roughly the width of the shaft that you want. I'm just gonna mark out there and there. And now using my scissors, I'm just going to cut and it should nicely split off right where we've cut through the fibers here. And if it doesn't, this one's still a little bit attached right here, we can just continue right here, gently working our way through. Awesome. There we go. So we have our spoon blank cut. Now we need to grab our cylindrical object and our sandpaper. And we will wrap the sandpaper around it and create a nice, uh, essentially like a tool. This is like a, a file. This is a form for us to sand into the corners of this spoon. So using this placed into the corner, we can use it to just gently shape the corners and then use it to contour the outside of the spoon. So we've got our corners nicely rounded down. The next thing that I want you to do is to pick a front and a back of the spoon. Now, again, using our sandpaper, we will take um, the cylinder out and we're just gonna hold it in our hand and shape the back of the spoon. You may want to put it back on to shape inside here. So I'll zoom in and show you exactly what this looks like. So we have the back of our spoon shaped. The next step is going to be contouring the inside. And uh, this is gonna be a pretty challenging step. 
using the very tip of the scissors, but it'll be a good chance to practice. Um, basically whittling skills, very simple wood carving skills. But I'm going to show you the close up of exactly what it looks like when I do this. So score a line up the middle, score another line off to the side on either side of it. And then score up the middle in between both of those lines. I'm going to flip the spoon upside down and you can see all of the shavings have kind of collected right at the top there. And we're just going to score down from the top. <laughs> Using our scissors, we've created a very uh, rough convexity in the spoon. And I'm going to show you how to even this out. So we have our cylindrical object inside the sandpaper. And I'm gonna just align the edge of it with the edge of the sandpaper so we have a right angle that's also a cylinder. Now using that, we can sand the convexity of the spoon smooth. So. <laughs> so the only thing that we have left to do on this spoon is to shape the shaft can see that it's uh, not quite rounded out and it also has some irregularities in it. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to scrape that until it's straight, switch sides, and scrape that until it's straight. And then for the ends you can just do this and kind of flick the excess off. Next, we're going to do the same thing on the corners. And again, you can just flick it off the ends. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my sandpaper. Work my way around the shaft of the spoon. And now I'm gonna grab my finer grit sandpaper and do some finished sanding on the spoon. And I'll grab my pen and do that same trick to do the finished sanding of the inside of the spoon. So to do the final sanding of the shaft, another thing that I find helpful is to take the sandpaper, wrap it around, and you can spin back and forth, sand up and down. And finally to cap it all off, we'll sand the end. Now when working with wood, it's important to seal it as a last step, especially when it's going to be coming into contact with moisture. This is a jar of linseed oil, which is a common woodworking finish, but for this project, you can use virtually any kind of oil, canola oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, um, mustard oil, whatever you have in your kitchen should work. I'm gonna dunk it. And it's sealed. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial where I showed you how to make a wooden spoon out of a simple popsicle stick. I got to enjoy a delicious popsicle and uh, hopefully all of you out there got to make your own miniature wooden spoon that fits so nicely in the bowls that we all made last week. And thanks so much for joining me. Uh, again, if you did make this project yourself, please 
uh, contact me, show me a picture, share a video of it. And if you like this video, please uh, consider sharing it with a friend who you think might to like to join you on this journey uh, towards creating our own individual, fully functional, handmade miniature kitchen. Until next time.